Before we get started with our test drive video, I want to give a little update to the dash and instrument panel video. During that video, I mentioned that the cigarette lighter element did not get hot, and that's still correct that the element itself did not get hot. But I am using the socket as a battery feed for one of my cameras. I accidentally let one of the batteries get low on a camera, so using that for battery power. So you could use that for your GPS or whatever, maybe your phone charger. Also, during that same video, I mentioned that I use my phone with the auxiliary in into the stereo to listen to Sirius. I enjoy 60s music, and I'd said I'd demonstrate that during the test drive video, which I'll do right now. So I'm going to turn the key on, turn the radio on. Now I've got. Now I've got the auxiliary in going into my phone, and I've got um, my, I call it 60s on 6, it's called 60s gold. We're listening going out of my head, so by a little Anthony and the Imperials. So that works great. And I really like the fact that the original style front speaker and rear speaker are used in the configuration. Keeps a nice clean look. So about the drive line before we get started, it's a Crate 350 engine, about a 290 horse, that's what it's advertised as. I think it's more than that, but that's the paperwork that I have. So it's a 290 horse, 350 engine, four speed manual transmission, 12 volt rear end, power steering, power brakes, and power top. Obviously we got the top down today because it's a beautiful day today in the Ozarks and we're going to enjoy cruising with the top down. Prior to today, I've driven the car probably about 100 miles, maybe just a little less. I test drove the car around 10 miles before I bought it. And then last Saturday, a friend and I went, took our cars to a car show, which was around I'm just guessing around 40 or maybe 45 miles away from here. So the round trip was probably about 80 or 90 miles. Then I've taken a couple other little side trips. So prior to today, driven the car roughly 100 miles. Today I plan on driving it around 80 or so. With that, let's just go ahead and get started.
thought I'd pull into Sonic and give a little report on my test drive. fun ride. My very first car that I ever bought was a used 65 Impala and I've had quite a few 65 Impalas since then and I'll tell you I'm sure this is my favorite one. What a incredible ride. I'm gonna to try to go over everything hopefully I won't forget anything. We'll start with the gauges. I mentioned earlier the gas gauge works. So does the speedometer and tachometer. And speaking of that, I noticed when I was out on the highway, cruising about 60 miles an hour, the tachometer RPM was 2800. So with that, I'm assuming the rear end gear ratio is probably in the mid threes or so. The oil pressure out on the highway was a very consistent 50 PSI cruising around town about 42 and while just idling at stoplights you know just sitting there um, the lowest I ever saw it was 30 psi so very good oil pressure of course the volts was very consistent right at 13 volts the water temperature um, very consistent at 180 degrees so I'm assuming it's got a 180 degree thermostat in it Let's see, of course the vacuum gauge works. Um, the performance of the drive line is really nice. The <clears throat> paperwork that I have for the engine, it's a GM crate engine, um, listed as a 290 horse uh, 350 engine. To me it feels more than that, but I'll just take it as word, 290 horse, it performs really really nice no stuttering no noises just a really nice performing 350 engine the four speed transmission was flawless the shift pattern and shifter is very nice and tight but yet smooth and the uh, synchros for the transmission are just really really good um, the brakes, very nice power brakes, and it brakes nice and straight. It does not pull one way or the other. And the steering is also very, very nice and tight, and yet you can um, steer with one finger if you want. Uh, the suspension is also really nice. I noticed going over railroad tracks is real nice and quiet, no rattles, no shakes. Uh, very nice. Um, very nice suspension and the rear end suspension does have adjustable air shocks. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. It's just a really nice, enjoyable car. Looks good, runs great, just um, a beautiful 65 Impala convertible. Hey, I appreciate you taking time to look at this video and you can always check out more at gasvilleusa.com and feel free to call or text me at 479-636-7111.